Twice a year, the American Gothic House hosts a lecture series. And Sunday, they invited Humanities Iowa speaker Michael Zaz to the house to talk about the history of Iowa in a cloth bag. I like to take one particular thing and show how it has affected us. And here we took cloth bags, which most people think was no big deal. Zaz had an array of cloth bags that were once bags for salt, flour, sugar, chicken feed, and hog feed. Reusing the bags helped families during the Great Depression. But the start of recycling these bags began around World War I. That's what really showed the versatility of the cloth bag and the economics of it. And um, so that was World War I, and it just moved into the common usage then after that. Men were typically the ones to go to the store and get the feed sacks, but as time went on and there were more fabrics, it became a type of marketing to women. Women then turned these feed sacks into things such as rugs, curtains, towels, quilts, and even clothes. Absolutely everything. Uh, I've had people that said that every single bit of fabric in their house had been a bag. Women would trade bags with others to get different prints. They could even gain a source of income with the bags. Once the bags were empty, they could return them to the store for two cents and the store would reuse them. Zaw said talking about Iowa history such as this is his way of connecting people with history. Most people, well, yeah, I remember grandma having towels like that or quilts that look like that. And so it's trying to reconnect people to their roots or give them roots to connect to. And many people in the audience Sunday made similar comments. In Eldon, Alex Wilson, KTVO News.